There are some gamers that wait on pins and needles for that next title in their favorite series that is released every year. The wildly popular Yu-Gi-Oh! series, whether it be the next set of booster packs, decks, or video games, is no exception. The entire Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise has gone through a transformation through the anime and card game, and it is only fair that the World Championship series for Nintendo DS follows suit as well. Much like perennial hits like Madden or NHL from EA Sports, Yu-Gi-Oh! creators Konami have kept pace with the market and have found their bearings, confident that their fan base will enjoy their product. Whether it's because their fans are entirely ensconced in card slinging action is another story, but when Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's World Championship 2011 Over the Nexus was released, I simply had to have it, curious to see what has changed from the 2010 and 2007 editions I previously played. And the answer? Well, unfortunately not much, but that does not take away the fact that the World Championship Series is an excellent way to both have fun with the game and to brush up your skills when you're playing heads up in real life. Who should play this game? I'd say it's for both beginners and hardened vets alike. Yu-Gi-Oh! 2011 comes loaded with features, such as a story mode, free duel, turbo duel, and deck construction. The game acts as a wonderful tool for you to work on your skills, not just in-game, but all the surrounding elements that will help you to become the best duelist you can be. The beginner will notice that this game is fast and somewhat confusing to be curt. The game does well, however, to stop in the right places in order for the player to read the abilities of the monster that your opponent just summoned, or the effects of the traps or spells that they spring on you. This is only scratching the surface of what this game has in store for the unsuspecting beginner, however, and at times I'm left to wonder, how do the developers continue to make game after game when there are now thousands upon thousands of possible card combinations now complete with fusion and synchro monsters that have tremendous power. The result can be found by simply playing through a free duel. During a regular attack, or more importantly, a chain combination, the computer will have trouble keeping up, and often needs time to think about the next move it must make. This can provide for some frustrating moments, as sometimes you're left to wonder whether the game froze up, or your move was simply too much for your opponent to handle. Story mode is tailor-made for the fans of the anime, beginning with the player's humble roots in Crash Town, the Wild West-style Shantytown, where you'll build your foundation for success as a rootin' tootin' card slinger. For added effect, a mini-game will appear in place of the usual rock-paper-scissors, in form of Gunslinger's Delight, where you must follow all the button commands before your opponent does. The straightforward style of Free Duel is what I prefer. You get right down the business against a specific monster featured in Yu-Gi-Oh! Each monster using a specific deck with a creative name. It's the best way to learn the game, especially if you're new to Yu-Gi-Oh! And a hell of a lot better than trying to learn it through Yu-Gi-Oh! spin-offs that I have previously reviewed. An even better way to test your metal is through duel puzzles, which you must win in one turn. But to be sure, such critical thinking is required in Free Duel, so choose what you think is best to hone your skills. With a straightforward and honest duel layout, deck construction, and various twists and turns along the way, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's World Championship 2011, over the Nexus, has a replay value that is as long as its name. For some, it may be a fun respite from real-world dueling, but for others like myself, it's an invaluable tool that will help you get educated about the evolution of one of the most popular TCGs on Earth.